Hey, how's it going? So it is uh, Saturday morning, the 10th of January, and I decided that I'm going to start video blogging you. Um, it was sort of inspired by this uh, this app, this web app that I tried recently, where um, it's sort of like it take, takes a photo of you, it does computer vision to scan your face, and uh, then it tries to sort of emulate you in the future, and you can have a conversation with yourself, and you can just sort of like ask it very general questions about like what the future is like, and uh, I thought it was pretty well done. It's called futureself.orange.com, and it probably doesn't exist anymore, but um, it was yeah, it was it was interesting, and I don't know on the drive home from the bank th this morning, I thought like. I was just thinking about my videos and all these weekend montages I make and like today I've allocated to editing them and yeah I thought well, why do I do it why do why do I make these videos um, ultimately I make them for you uh, like as in when I sort of put a lot of design effort into it I'm thinking about the people who are gonna see it like it's partly for me too I like like it's sort of reviewing my like life it's an exciting life um i like other people seeing my life I like other people being inspired by my life it's good to um just to sort of see other people start making videos and other people going out and enjoying life because they see how much i am enjoying life and just the fact that you can uh allows other people to see just parts of the world and what i'm up to and it also helps me go on more adventures because people see the adventures i'm going on they go wow that's awesome i want to adventure with that guy and then we hang out and we do more cool stuff. But ultimately, ultimately the reason I'm doing it is uh, is for you to sort of show you how I lived my life, sort of an insight into what I like to do to inspire you, so that you can sort of go ahead and do even better stuff than what I'm doing. And um, I don't know, I think it'd be really cool if I could just sort of look back on my dad's life and all the cool stuff he's done and see that. So um, I know a lot of a lot of things I do in my life are because of you. I've uh, been thinking about it for a very long time. Um, but yeah, which is why I've started doing this. Also, I'm also doing this for me. I mean, like it's great to just to be sort of like it helps me think to explain my thoughts. Um, it's also a great way to sort of like recap. I think I'm like going to try and just recap on lessons learned. I don't like. I'm hoping I'm going to continue with this, <coughs> ideally daily. And uh, it's, it's going to be great just to recap on lessons learnt throughout my life, throughout each day, and lessons I'd want to pass on. So, it's it's hard to know where to start right now, because there is just so much background I've missed, considering I'm currently 21, nearly 22. And um, this is the first one of these I've done. So that gives me a good 22 years of references that you may or may not be missing. So I'm going to start with yesterday. Um, yesterday, actually no, I'll start with today, because it's even sooner. So today I slept, does it? See, this is one of the references. I, I live in a greenhouse, and um, I guess this is, like, it's, it's very, very me at the moment. Uh, this is who I am, sort of very into camping, being outside, being in nature, and, um, just having the right gear. So like, I currently have this belt right that has like a water bottle on it and a light and this, this dump pouch, to like open it up and fold it out and bam. And for the laptop that I'm filming this on, it fits in this pouch, which is really cool because I currently work at this tech company that um is building these glasses that I guess, well, we hope that you won't even know what like use a laptop. You don't even need to know what a laptop is unless you've done history. It's like, it's gonna replace that and you're gonna use glasses or contact lenses. And that's how you'll be watching this video, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, so I work at this tech company building augmented reality glasses that project holograms into the real world that allow you to integrate the interface of the computer with the world around you. And so you can just sort of reach out and just grab these holograms. And, like, people today either don't think that exists or are completely mind-blown by seeing it. Like, um, hopefully it's something that you're just like, ah, oh, that old thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we've done that a bit, but... uh. Yeah, not, not yet. Uh, it's, it's, it's exciting being a part of that. 
But um, anyway, so I can fit my laptop into this pouch, and then I can, uh, cause then I can make the, like, I can walk around with the glasses on, and I, <laughs> I need to have the laptop on me. That's the stage it's currently at. Um, I mean, it's, it's rapidly moving away from that, but uh, like, I'm the guy who teaches all the other guys that build apps how to do it. And so I need to sort of be thinking ahead in the direction they want to go, and I need to be doing that. So this is this is one of those things. Anyway, so I like I like having important valuable stuff always on me. Let I me. Mean, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um. Anyway, so that's my bed. It's pretty regular bed. It's got a boomerang at the head, and uh, it's got pillows and sheets. I don't use the sheets though. See, I sleep in a sleeping bag. Um. So pretty much everything in this room. I can just pack up and take camping with me. Like even the table that you're sitting on, right? It's just like one of those fold up tables. And like, it's full of like, currently full of like medical stuff and just like gear I have. And look, here's my medical kit. Oh, not there. Oh, that's, so I own one square foot of that little red dot on the island, on that island in Maine. It's called Hawaii too. And um, I got it on some online gimmick that was called Cards Against Humanity. Anyway, I'll, I probably will never explain about that. I might. Ask me, ask me if I'm still alive. Oh, whew, that's a dark matter to touch on. Anyway, um, so don't use the sheets. I sleep in a sleeping bag. Uh, and this poncho warmer that's sort of like, I'll get into details about that later too. Um, but so last night I was testing it just to see how well it works sort of like in cold weather because it's like, it's recommended at 40 degree Fahrenheit, which is like, I don't know, like six degrees Celsius. I'm not sure maybe about that, and uh, it's, so, in other words, it's recommended for the warm, and I needed to sort of like, wanted to start testing it with the poncho liner, because that makes it warmer, um, so I just like slept outside last night, um, and yeah, it, it worked really well, <laughs> probably doesn't add any value to you knowing that, that, that the combination of how I slept outside last night worked well, but that was, I guess, the lesson learned from today is my gear works. Testing your gear, testing your gear. Even if people think it's silly, even like, why are you doing that? That's unnecessary. Sleeping, camping outside. You know, like you're you're a fool for camping outside. You should go camp where it, actual camping is done, or just sleep in your bed. But that's not the point. The point is to test the gear. And like, you don't want to go somewhere really far away and dangerous if your gear doesn't work, because that's not the place to test the gear. The place to test the gear is right here. Test the gear is every day. That's why I sleep in it every day. Right? I test it. Like I. If you, like, I love travel, so I want to do lots of travel, and um, I want to prepare for that. And so I prepare for that every single day by having all this gear and by living as if I'm traveling all the time, which I kind of am. I, I am. I like. <laughs> I have a good job. It's great. They send me around the world. I love it. Like I'm going to, I'm going to Detroit next week, like Wednesday. Um, I'm hosting a hackathon, like, um, so next Monday I'm hosting a hackathon, Wednesday I'm going to Detroit, then y your grandparents get to come see me, um, which I'm really excited about. So I live in California, um, grew up in Australia, Wollongong, I'm sure you know, and um, currently living in California, been here for about a year and a half, just a bit over, I'm close, yeah, somewhere between a year and a half and two years, um, working for Meta, and uh building augmented reality glasses, and um, I was like, yeah, they, they sent me around the world, it's fantastic, like, last month I was in Germany, and uh, I was also in New York, yeah, they're sending me to Detroit next week, I'm going to Singapore the week, like, after my parents come see me, and uh, Aiden's coming too, Uncle Aiden, ha, <laughs> that's great, uh, I'm going to think of a good nickname for that, I'll, we can develop that later but um yeah so yesterday lesson learned yesterday i um i gave a presentation on uh style impressions and character at the company meeting um it was i thought it was a fantastic presentation like everyone seemed to really be engaged uh very very engaged so it caused a um some a little bit of conflict uh, like it was a good conflict it was uh like sort of like different opinions being thrown around very uh, emotional opinions, uh, just about how we should be using the product. So, if I'm going to put this public, which I'm not sure if I will yet, 
I probably shouldn't be talking about that because it's like under NDA, so like a non-disclosure agreement, which is a legal document I signed to tell the company that I'm not going to go telling all their secrets to the public. And if this goes public and I tell you their secrets, I get in trouble and probably get fired. So, I mean, I don't want that. <laughs> um, but it was, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I got told a, a great quote at the end of it. It, it, it felt... That, so the quote was, first they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Uh, which is, the first two have happened, and I'm feeling pretty close to the third one. Let's, let's look up who that quote was by. Was, so that was by Todd. Todd's my partner. He feels, uh, he, he's a very inspirational guy. He feels very much like me, you know? It's like, it's like me, but further along down the line. He's like, sort of like an older brother. So, uh, like, I don't have an older brother, but, um... Todd is what I imagine that would be like. Maybe a little better than that. Because he does sort of pick on me, but in a good way, I guess. Brothers do that, but he does that to everyone. Um, first, so I'm using Google because that's what we use these days. Um, you sort of type it into the old Google and it's like a phrase to Google something. That means to look it up on the internet. Um, that's how big Google is. Google is the shit. It's like... It is the internet. Google and Facebook. Uh, I don't know if Facebook's still around, but that, that stuff's fun. It's like, that's where I'm going to be posting this, I think. Um, so anyway, so, first they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. It's a really well-known quote. Like, I've heard it before, but it was just incredibly appropriate context. Um that I was told it. So, I'd like to give a more conclusive message. Like, that's just quoting someone. That doesn't really sort of like, like, that doesn't give you context to think about it too much. I mean, like, the take-home message from my talk was <clears throat> wear it and wear it proud. And if you don't like how I'm wearing it, then wear it better. Do it better. So, yeah, I guess you can try and put two and three together there. Again, I don't want to give too much away. Maybe I'll do another private video. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. By Gondai. Yeah. Oh, hey, check out my shirt. It says Meta. It's a company I work for. That's our logo. Done by a design, designer, Martin. So I was like, I don't know, out of everyone at the company, maybe the seventh person there, something like that. <clears throat> maybe eighth. Um, and we're currently about 50. So we're like, we've grown a lot since I've been there. And it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a very exciting place. Uh, very sort of emotionally connected to it. And no, oh, I've got some weird pictures on my computer right now. I've just my face cut in half and then stitched back together like it's like a mirror. Th anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's great. They 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 take care of us well, really well, actually. Um, like, I guess there's different debate in America as to how well a company should take care of you, but uh, like this house, this room, so this is a greenhouse inside of it, a nice house, there are videos of this house I've posted, or at least taken, hopefully they still exist, of like, to tour, like, me walking around this house and exploring it, so like, check that out, so you can see the house, but um, yeah, this is uh, like, this is a nice house, a very nice house, in one of the nicest areas of America, Patola Valley, so I am lucky to even live like in this area of the country, in this house, and in this insane room, but just look at this, yeah. Um, I'm not very happy about that. We have, we have a company chef who feeds us very well, and like life, life is good. They, like you can, they make they make life easy so that we can work harder, which is great. I'm all for that. Um, I want to work hard. I want to make this thing happen. And 
yeah so i say this thing like so video chatting sort of like what we're doing but in real time like it's like 2d skype <laughs> because i'm assuming skype is going to be 3d by the time you're watching this but uh yeah so it's like it's a common thing it's like it's very common sort of like a uh, communication tool for the distance is you just video chat someone and i have this thing when i video chat people that see like the contrast in the background how it's just like too much well Actually, Apple does a really good job of the contrast, or at least it is at the moment, but sometimes the contrast gets bright and sort of like, see how it's like shining over my face just here? Yeah, just here, yeah. So it does that, but it does that really blindingly sometimes. And so when I see a lot of contrast, I want to block it up. I always like instantly, I'm like, no, go away contrast. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure how long to make these videos. 15 minutes is probably good. Half an hour is probably overkill i'm currently at 16 minutes so i might i might end it here uh and hopefully i remember to talk to you tomorrow um i might i might set a thing in my calendar i've got a calendar thing in my calendar to read but that doesn't happen every day so hopefully this does i like this i like i like the idea of this all right well i don't even know your names but bye